Hello everybody, it's Liliana Rowena, and today I'm going to be talking about my monthly favorites and updates. So my first monthly favorite is this new dress. Um, I, this is the first like OTT sweet print I've had. I know it's one of the newer ones, but it reminds me so much of the style that made me fall in love with Lolita in the first place. There's so many details and designs and now I get why everyone's so hype about AP. I get it now. <laughs> I get it now, it's super cute. I love the sallow pet a lot and I knew it would go with this blouse so it was at a really reasonable price. Also the seller didn't even mention it was new with tag when I bought it which was wild so thank you so much to the person that I bought it from. Um, another favorite of mine this month has been Spotify. I've been making so many different playlists, putting stuff together, listening it to in the car, listening to like kin playlists of different characters. I've been really enjoying Spotify. I've not gotten Spotify premium, but I have considered it. I have considered it. Another favorite of mine is how beautiful the weather's been recently. It has been gorgeous out. I've been enjoying it so much, although I'm kind of dying of heat in this cord, but it was worth it because this was the cord I had in my head. When I am done filming all my stuff, I might get into a short sleeve cotton blouse, so I stopped dying of heat in it, but I love this cord and this dress so much. I have not played Final Fantasy X, but I've been really enjoying watching my fiance play Final Fantasy X. It's been super fun to watch and I have been enjoying watching him play it and I like the story a lot and I've just been having a good time overall. Oh uh, my goodness. I've made a Vroid model because I was bored at work and I'm excited to start using it but I was gonna debut it later the today, where the day that I'm filming, not the day this goes up, but I love my outfit so much today that I will probably do it at a different time because I want to show off this outfit and it took me a while to get ready today because I wanted to do this dress justice before I put it on. It's technically a sallow pet and I love it so much. It goes together so well and I'm having such a good time with it. Oh my goodness, I love it so much. Um, I won't shut up about this dress. Um, the other things that I've been enjoying this month are the updates to the lace market thing because that's how I even found this was I was able to put in my specific measurements and then I got it and it fit perfectly. I didn't have to alter it at all because I could just put in my measurements because how I ended up with a lot of my pieces is I did plus size friendly and I'd kind of take a gamble if they didn't put the centimeters down if it was a low enough price but now that I can actually filter it per centimeter, yeah, my dress, uh, my shopping ban didn't work out, as I said, but I made it the longest I ever have without buying a main piece, so I'm proud of that, <laughs> at least. Speaking of New Year's resolutions, I got my yellow belt, which I can't believe I left over there. Let me, let me go pick it up. I worked so hard for this. It's been a really long time since I've tested and my pile of laundry just fell on to the <laughs> thing, but I got my yellow belt. I worked so hard for it. And I'm so proud of this. I did a hundred push-ups in one day, guys. Um, you can't see it because I'm in a short sleeve shirt, but you I can kind of see my biceps now, which I'm really excited about. And I've been keeping up with working out pretty decently. I haven't been going to the gym because I'm it's hard for me to do that, but I have been dancing along to like idle music a lot and I've been doing that at work and here and it's just been kind of like a constant movement thing because I've been wanting to learn these songs so it's kind of just turned into me dancing all the time <laughs> and that's been helping up with my cardio and I've been keeping up a little bit with like maintaining my level of strength but I want to strengthen my abs a bit because I noticed while I was mermaiding that that was where I seemed to lack the most in my strength and because I was struggling with some of the tricks because of how much ab work is required in mermaiding. I also am working on making a new cosplay and redoing the most intensive wig restyle I've ever done. I'll be uploading what that looks like soon. 
And also bless TikTok people for telling me how hairspray works because I, for the longest time, have not been able to curl my hair until I found out that you're supposed to curl it while it, you hairspray your hair first and then apply the heat because then it chemically like makes it react. I don't think that's the best for your hair, but I just wanted curls, gosh darn it. And I didn't have a twin tail wig for this. That is something I want to get though, is one of those old style 2010, because the concept for today's cord is kind of a mixture of like that new, what's the, it's not really, it's like the equivalent of, I don't know what it's called, like the general kawaii aesthetic that's really popular nowadays, like with the choker and the earrings with like that old school sweet with the big pigtails and I feel like if I'd had one of those pink blue big twin tail wigs it would be perfect but I love how it came out anyways I am in such a good mood today <laughs> it's just been a really good month and I'm really happy to get to share that with you guys um, I've been working a little bit more on getting to my split but I think since it's now going to become a karate test requirement at my dojo uh, I will be a lot more motivated to do it as far as that goes. Um, and I've been managing my money all right. Um, again, I kind of <laughs> didn't get the New Year's resolution as far as the uh, don't buy new any new main pieces. But I think that might have been a lesson in making smart goals. But I lasted five months, so four, four or five months. And it's still the longest I've gone and I've certainly learned my lesson on like really thinking through the purchase first because I don't regret this purchase at all. I've wanted a piece like this since I was 16 years old. Holy crud, I have been looking at this fashion. I'm 23. Oh my god, I have been looking at the fashion for seven years, actively participating for five? I can't believe I've been around that long. <laughs> oh, and now that I've graduated college though, I feel like I'm just now, like also any encouragement to any newer Lolitas. I've been in Lolita for five years and I feel like I'm just now figuring out how everything works and all of the basics and the cording and all of that and finally getting to like move into slightly more experimental stuff. It takes a while to build all of it up because there are so many pieces involved. So don't ever feel bad about that taking a while. I've also decided to start like do focusing on some fitness stuff again. I actually am charging up my Fitbit. So that'll be like probably more updates on that. I'm debating making a separate channel for fitness. I've done I did a separate cosplay channel once, but I felt pressure to upload on both. But this has a different reasoning, so let me know in the comments because I am interested. I actually always loved fitness, but I also feel like fitness and Lolita on the same channel could be a bit of a powder keg because I am personally working on weight loss for my health, but I also don't want to be triggering to people. So I could just upload to that second channel occasionally, or I could have it on here and put trigger warnings at the front of the video. Please let me know which one you think would work, which you would like to see, because I haven't really resolved that debate. And I also just want to make sure like, I'm being good to my audience, um, cause I don't want to contribute to any issues, but I also want to share what I'm doing in more detail and a little more explicitly because I think that's fun. I enjoy that, but, and it's a fun thing for me, but I don't want to like make coming to my channel like something that could be potentially triggering for some people. So please let me know if you think I should put that on a separate platform entirely or just kind of put a big warning at the beginning of any video that it's going to be very fitness, fitness focused. I think that's everything for this month. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please remember to like, comment, and subscribe. Liliana Rowena, out.